and this is Israel, and it's bucket time now once again. And today we are talking about the AMC exclusive Barbie, uh, but Barbie uh, popcorn tin or yeah. vessel. Which is kind of weird because it doesn't seem like a popcorn yeah. vessel. It just looks like a, I don't know, a card. I mean, it's a Barbie car for sure. Yeah. So you get that. So first and foremost, you're probably wondering why this is there. This actually comes with the bucket. So this Barbie doll that vague, vaguely looks like Margot Robbie comes with the uh, with the bucket. Um, the whole thing cost about sixty four dollars before taxes, so it was about like seventy seventy two dollars, like seventy one cents with, with taxes. But it comes with this Barbie doll. Um, it actually says Barbie the movie on it. That's the back of the box has uh, that promotional image on it. Um, I think it's really cool. It did come with. This. Yeah, so it actually does come with the. With the bucket, uh, which is kind of cool. It's only in the theaters too, because it does not. Yeah, online. it is available online. The website crashed right now, but uh, the Barbie is sold out online. But the car is still available. But it does not come in a package like that online. It only is a theater. Yeah, so you can if you can only get the door and the car at the theater. Oh, otherwise, on that. Unfortunately, uh, on the note of that, on that note, um, you cannot just get the car at the theater. You have to get the Barbie too. And online, you can only get the car, but you don't. But get not the Barbie. Barbie. No. So the online, sold out already, so. yeah, online the Barbie is sold out, and the car alone is about thirty-four dollars before tax and shipping. In theater, you get the Barbie doll and the car, and that's about like we said about seventy-one, yes. seventy-two dollars before taxes. You have no choice. So you either get both or you get none. Yeah. Now this is this is the car. Um, as you can see, the wheels do roll like much like the Optimus Prime one, and Dom's um, Charger. Um, it looks like a bright pink vehicle. The one thing I we're not sure is if it even opens to have popcorn. Yeah, the inside looks like one solid piece, one solid plastic piece. So I'm not sure the popcorn just goes in there, which is kind of ridiculous because if anything falls in there, it's very hard to get out. Um, we actually had a second one and the seal actually broke out and I was trying to reach in it to get, to get something that fell in there out. So uh, probably meant yeah. more literally more as a collectible than an actual popcorn bucket no, actually i don't know why they put a popcorn bucket i don't feel like it's a popcorn bucket i just think it's a car with barbie they just want should, should have called it yeah i mean like, I feel it's like a collectible for barbie which is still cool i know it's worth it but if you really think about it it's just a collectible with a doll so it's not really a popcorn tin yeah no if it does open please let us know because that's very odd yeah if if you got it if you got yours open or you know how they open let us know but yeah it seems way more like a collectible than an actual popcorn tin um i do, do love the fact that the tires move and it actually is very reminiscent of those old barbie vehicles Look at the, the license plate. like you whoops these are reminiscent of those old barbie vehicles you'd pick up it says barbie in the back um that's how the inside looks um the bottom actually does say barbie the movie on it it's got the logo and all that stuff on there the one thing I'm not really a fan of the tires, like I get they're going for like the real Barbie toy look, but I kind of do the tires would have been rubber instead of plastic. Like the uh, Fast and Furious like car or uh, even Optimus Prime had like real rubber tires, if I remember correctly. It's really cool um, as a collectible. I do love it. I'm kind of, you know, it's kind of cool with the Barbie and everything. So it's not a regret, but uh, I turned it over and, and I was over and over and over and over again and I couldn't figure out if it opens or not. I'm pretty sure yeah, it doesn't. Like, See, so you can see there, it looks like one solid piece. Like I said, I don't want to risk losing. I hear the chairs are connected, here's connected. And, you know, the steel already came off one, so I don't want to risk that with the other one. So just a heads up, be careful about trying to reach in there, because that, that is very fragile right there. Um, I don't see it as a popcorn tin. It's more just like collectible. Yeah, no. This is, the this is more just a plain collectible, especially the fact that the doll comes with it. That makes it just seem even more just like plain collectible. Um, and I think... I mean, I get why they market it as a, as a popcorn vessel because everybody wants to go get it. Mm. But I feel, I feel they just should have marketed it as a, just a straight collectible, to be honest. Yeah, just be like, hey, come see the movie. You'll get this collectible. Yeah. I, well, you can buy this collectible. Yeah. And like, I do wish it was a little bit... Like, I get what they're going for. I get they're going for the, the Barbie toy. But I do kind of wish that the quality was a little bit better because like, yes. even Dumb's Charger felt a little thicker than that. Like, even... Uh, Optimus Prime, you know, the the trailer is flimsy metal, but it still felt a little better than that. 
I mean, it's still pretty cool to have. But it's still cool. I don't have any regrets. Collector. Yeah, I have no regrets. I'm glad we got it. I wish it could be used for candies or popcorn like the other ones. I think that's my only dissatisfaction is that it can actually be used for that. Unless, you know, I'm missing something. Yeah, so if you, if, if you open it, let us know how, but, you know, like I said, you feel about it. seems the front like end. It? Did you not like it? Did you think it's a waste? Which, you know, for me, nothing's a waste. No, for me, I, I loved it. And the fact that I got the Barbie doll that's, like, actually from Barbie the movie, it's not just, like... And I love how it says Barbie, the how the letters look for Barbie. Yeah, so the letters, really if you can, cool. as you can see, the letters are kind of, like, really coolly mirrored. Like I said, it does bear a vague resemblance to Margo. Yeah, it's got cool the same thing, thing on the back, which is pretty cool. Cool thing about that is if you ever meet her, you can get it signed. Yeah, it, it would be a good thing for that. If you ever do want to get a chance to meet her, like a fan ex for a Comic Con, it is a perfect autograph piece. Yeah. Uh, so is the car, I think, if you really wanted it. Yeah. You. But uh, I think the car is just something you set on your shelf and never touch. Yeah, it does think so that would just be a display, probably with the door or any other Barbie merchandise you might have collected over the years or you might have now. So if you're a fan of Barbie, this is a good collector's yeah. item, a good collector's type of thing for for any Barbie fan. Uh, you know, if you're a real Barbie fan and you know you yeah. know what toys entail and how it is, this is, this will be very a very like I guess you could say hoot for you. Yeah. Be like the best thing ever because, you know, it just reminds of the classic yeah, old no. Barbie toys that you would get when you were little. Exactly. And I myself was very excited to get this. I, at first, had reservations about the doll, I'll be honest. I wanted the car only at first. But after seeing the bundle in person, I realized that's how cool it was. Yeah. So if the doll is discouraging you to get it, like it almost did for me, I was going to wait to get it online. But I'm glad I got it in person. <clears throat> um, but it is a lot cooler looking in person. And here's a tip. When you go to the theater, for the love of God, bring a tote or bring a bag because this is very annoying to be carrying around. Yeah, the it is very annoying to carry. Um, and it keeps, you almost keep dropping it because the wheels move, so you're trying to have it on top of the Barbie thing. It's like... Mm, yeah, mm. I actually... Well, they are sturdy. I mean, the outsides are sturdy. Mine did actually roll off a seat yeah. and fall on the ground. Um, and it had no damage whatsoever. Um, the only reason the wheel came off, it says, because I tried reaching in there to get something that fell, to get a card out that fell in there. Um, but beyond that, they actually do seem pretty sturdy. The quality does feel a little cheap, but they actually are pretty sturdy. I should mention that at least. Yeah, I think it's, it's worth it for, you know, a Barbie fan. A real Barbie fan who looks, you know, collects Barbies and goes to the store and just collects the little toy cars or anything. I think this is worth it for them. And anybody who just starting to get into it, it's really cool. It could be like a piece you give to your granddaughter or, you know, a piece you, you save for your future children. So it's actually a very good collectible piece. Yeah, it is a very good collectible piece. I, I, uh, the doll that came with it actually just kind of adds to that collector value to it. Like I said, at first I was almost discouraged not to get it because of the doll, but it's actually pretty cool. Like, yeah, the doll's kind of a cooler person than it is in the photos. Yeah, well... Um, even though people weren't really crazy for her online... Because you can buy them separate online. Yeah, um, except she is sold out online. Yes, so that's it. So that's kind of cool. So I guess certain people wanted the Barbie and yeah. certain people wanted the cars. Yeah. As of right now, which when we're filming this is like Wednesday night, um, the site was down. So the AMC site was crashed. So we don't know if these are sold out online or not. Um, if by upload time we can find that out, we'll have a link in the description below. We can order them or if the link's not there, then they were sold out. Yes, it kind of looks like they did sell out. It looks like people just went totally crazy for them. Yeah. Um, I suggest if you want one, you definitely go to get one early yeah. tomorrow morning. Because I do not think they're going to be there tomorrow night. Yeah, I'm not sure they'll be there Thursday night. Um, I mean, it's a possibility they can be, but it looks like there's a lot of Barbie fans out there. And new, upcoming Barbie fans. So the new generation that's, you know, kind of gone crazy for this. Also, when you go to the theater, make sure if you want to buy more than one, like if you have siblings... You each have your own money because they were only letting one family, one car per family. Yeah, because we had we actually went to separate transactions to get these two. Um, but we saw families trying to get one for each of their daughters, and they had three daughters, and they they told them they couldn't. They told them they had to have only uh, they could only get one. Yeah. And which one? I saw one little girl heartbroken. And I was like, "Come on, dude! You see, there's three kids there." Yeah, but they're little kids. Like you're not you're not, you're not gonna flip that for little kids. Mm -hmm. But you know, beyond that. I think, it's a, I think it's a definitely good purchase. I would definitely suggest you get it. If 
you know, Barbie, if you love, even if you just love cars, I think that's a good thing for the car. You can give the door away and keep the car. Um, yeah. But it's still pretty cool. But let us know if they're doing that in your theater. We don't really want family thing because I'm curious. Maybe mm. people are just being mean. We should know. also add that it was the, they were on sale tonight for the pre-pre-early yes. showing of the Barbie party. So they might not be letting too many out tonight. Yeah. So maybe you can buy more than one tomorrow. Who knows? Yeah. So if, but I think uh, they're just trying to be fair and let everybody get one. But I think if you see three siblings there. Yeah. And little kids at that. Yeah. But let us know um, if you got one. What do you think about it? Um, do you wish it was different? What do you dislike about it? What would you change about it? What would you add to it? All the usual questions. You think it's just a waste? Yeah. To not even touch it and be like, yeah, that's just bad. Yeah, and what is that to the doll too? Like, if you got if you got the doll, well, let us know your thoughts on the whole bundle. Um, do you wish you would have had the option to buy them separately at, on the theater as well as online? Um, or are you glad it came in a bundle? Just let us know in the comments below. Let us know if it opens. I don't want to keep risking it after the whole steering wheel incident. Um, but just let us know all that in the comments below. But I hope you enjoy this and hopefully we can bring you the next bucket. Yeah, Which hopefully the next one we bring should be the Blue Beetle. Um, rumor has it that Blue Beetle is actually going to be the Scarab with backpack straps. I don't know how accurate that rumor is, but so far that's what it's rumored to be. Crossing my fingers, I mean, it is a Scarab. Yeah. That would be, like, really cool. On another note, too, if you're looking forward to Ninja Turtles, again, rumor is that Ninja Turtles bucket is going to be a tin with images around it and a lid, and the lid resembles a manhole cover. So I'm not sure which one of the two we will bring you, but we'll definitely try and bring you Blue Beetle um, and hopefully Ninja Turtles as well. Yes, we'll see how that works out and uh, hopefully you enjoy this. Yeah. And we can't wait to see you guys next time. Yeah. Until next time, this is Little signing off. This is Davida, Naomi Davida signing off. Just a, quick, uh, just a quick little addendum to add to that. Um, if you're wondering why we had no videos about Indiana Jones or Mission Impossible, AMC did not do any buckets for Indiana Jones or Mission Impossible. What, uh, the reckoning whatsoever the only thing they had for um indiana jones was just a bar drink called the golden idol and the only thing they did for mission impossible was give it a poster and an imf pin which we missed unfortunately uh, but that's all they did for those two films in case you're wondering why there was no videos for those it was lame. yeah it. yeah <laughs> i know i wish we would have had a mission impossible bucket no, that been cool. much the Even same way they did for face on it yeah, much the same way they did for Black Panther or Mission or um, John Wick. Um, I would have loved one of those, but apparently they didn't do anything for that. Hopefully for Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 2 they might do something. But yeah, there was no buckets for those two movies. I would have loved to see one with that or Tom Cruise's face. Yeah, Lisa Hunt on Maybe I'll do a poster. I have a poster type. Yeah, they did get, uh, yeah no, something cool. Or something from that joint too. But unfortunately, they didn't do anything for those two. Um, so they haven't come with, like, I don't know, sorry. Like, um... Like the way the coins came with... Um, yeah, the John Wick came with yeah, coins. Something, so. something cool like that. Something cool like that. They should, I wish I would have done something like that. But uh, if you're wondering why, why we had no videos on those two, uh, that's why.